Welcome to Sessions Health Tutorials. Hello, fellow therapists. I'm Ian, a practicing psychotherapist, and I use Sessions Health each day in my own private practice. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at setting up and managing clients. This is our client screen, and we can get there by clicking the clients link over here. At the top, we can see a button to add a client. We can search our clients. We can search by name or internal ID. We can filter based upon do we want to see the whole practices client list or just a particular practitioner. And we can also filter by status, active, inactive, or all. Regarding internal ID, we can customize our internal IDs by going to account settings and clients. And you can see if this is checked, rather than using a system generated ID, we can give clients our own internal IDs. This can be helpful for searching clients if we have patterns that we use for our IDs, we can override that. For example, if I go to this client, click the three dot menu, edit internal ID, I can now use my own ID to designate, for example, maybe my insurance clients, I just put insurance in every ID. I save that, I go to my client list now, I can see this internal ID, and let's say I'll also do it for one other person. If I do the same pattern, save that. Now I can see those custom IDs that I've given. Now if I just go to search, type insurance, now just my insurance clients are going to show up. So by coming up with creative ways of using internal IDs, you can easily find specific types of clients that match those patterns. Okay, so now if I want to add a client, I can do that by clicking the new client link over here or I can click the Add button. I'm going to click the Add button, and you're going to see there's three options. We were just adding an, an individual client that is most often the case in many private practices. We're just working with someone individually. We can select that. We select couple, family, or conjoint if there's more than one person as the client. And we also have the option of selecting minor if we're going to have a parent or guardian associated with the record. In this case, we're just going to set up an individual client because I'm going to create different videos for setting up couples and, and minors. We only need first name and last name to create a record. Email is optional, but if you have it, it's very handy because we can invite this person to the client portal. We're going to do that in this case. Also, you'll see if you have a client list from another EHR, just contact us and we can give you directions on how to have your clients imported into Sessions Health. So now that we have this information, we're going to click Create. And you can see it's going to prompt you to start the setup process. And it's also going to highlight in red important information that's missing. I'm going to come back to this start setup, but we actually don't have to do this right now. We can actually invite our clients to the portal and ask them to fill out this information. So 
when we invite them to the portal, we can select what features we want available. There's another video that gets into the portal in more details. And this is the setup information that we're going to ask them to fill out. We can also send consent forms, intake forms, and any other PDFs or documents we want. Now we send that invitation. At this point, we could just go on to the next thing that we need to work on for the day and just give this person the time to fill out this information in the portal. However, if we want, we can just go back and let's say that we have some of this information already and we want to do this for them. We can just start the setup process. There's a wizard that's going to walk us through the setup steps. If something is required and it's not filled out, you won't be able to continue. But most things are optional and you can continue through this. We've already set up the portal invite, but they haven't accepted it yet. This is just letting us know that that's the status. If we missed some documentation and we want to add it, we can click Manage Documentation and add additional forms at this point. I'm going to continue. On this insurance and billing information step, we can designate this client. Are they self-pay or insurance? In this case, we're going to say they're insurance. And maybe we've already called and we know what their copay is. We can enter that if we if we know that in advance. You can also set this up later, so it's it's okay if you don't know it right now. And we can add a default service. Let's say that we're typically going to be doing a 90837 with them. We can set that up. If it's insurance, we're just going to enter our normal rate for a session. If it's self-pay and it's sliding scale, this is also your, your chance. Let's just click that. Let's say that we have an agreement to do sliding scale with them, and we're just going to enter what our sliding scale rate is. If we're doing teletherapy, we can just click Add Modifier, and we're also going to say, hey, typically with this client, I'm doing a 90837 sliding scale of $75, and it's telehealth, so I'm going to add the 95 modifier. If your payer requires a different modifier, you can use that, such as GT, but typically it's going to be 95. And obviously, this is mainly going to apply if they are insurance. So we also have some billing automation steps that can be settings that can be set here. You can change this at any time, so don't worry. This is not set in stone. This is just during the setup process, you have an opportunity to set these. There's another tutorial on billing automation. so. Check it out if you want uh, more details. Online payments, if you happen to have the client with you and you can add a card now, you can. Otherwise, a credit card auth form can be sent to them. And we did send that to them in the portal invitation. And you can add their insurance policy if you have that information. You can also add that at this time and upload if you have a photo or PDF, you can do that now too. There's additional claims information and that can be overridden at this point. Now we're going to continue. If we have any contacts, such as an emergency contact, we can add that at this time. It can be a new contact or let's say it's someone that's already in our system. We can just start typing their name and we can add that person and we can set them as an emergency contact, configure some other things, etc. And then when we press complete, now this person has, has gone through the wizard. We can see we're still missing some important information because we didn't fill that in and the record is highlighting that, that that is missing. And Hopefully this person will accept the invite and they will fill this information in themselves. This concludes the client setup. If you have any questions, 
please contact us at support at sessionshelp.com. <laughs>